today I'll be talking about creating a job chain within Idera SQL Enterprise Job Manager. A job chain is a way to tie solo jobs across multiple SQL Server instances while allowing you to create dependencies among those jobs. Another benefit of using job chains is that you can schedule execution of jobs within the job chain based on the outcome or results of the jobs that are higher up in the job chain. To further explain, let's go through the process of creating a job chain. First thing we'll need to do is click on jobs to navigate to the screen where it's, it shows you the list of jobs that is being managed by SQL Enterprise Job Manager. Next we'll click on the drop down menu and select job chains from the options. On this particular view you can see that I already have a pre-existing job chain. However, in this case I want to create a job chain to demonstrate the process. So I'll click on the job chain button. For the job chain name, I'll give it something simple, so job chain example. And I'll need to select a root job, which is essentially the very first job within the job chain. Uh, I have the option of creating a new job or browsing and selecting from existing jobs that job manager is already managing, which is what I will proceed with doing. Next, I review the job schedule, which is already defined for the job, the, the root job itself. I'm okay with the job, uh, the current schedule, so I'll proceed next and submit and create the job chain itself. At this point, SQL Enterprise Job Manager will take you to the job chain editor, which basically allows you to define this, the, the chain in itself. On the left hand side, we have some filters that are available so that you can easily find the jobs that you want to add to the job chain. And you'll also find the list of the jobs being managed by SQL Enterprise Job Manager. Uh, in this particular case, the jobs that I want to add to the chain are already listed here, so, so I do not need to use the filter. To add jobs to the job chain, simply click and drag the job over to the job chain editor. And you'll see here, I'll add a few jobs. And you can see the benefit of the Enterprise Job Manager and the fact that you can chain jobs. Um, they can be linked together and they can be jobs that are running on different instances. And so, so you can see here that this particular job runs on my 2017 instance, whereas this job runs on the, my 20, 2008 R2 instance. Um, the third job will not start until the 2017 job is actually completed. Additionally, I can also define whether the, this third job will run based on whether the pre-existing job is success or whether it's a failure. And so I do again have the ability to uh, determine whether the, a job will run based on the outcome of the prior job. That for the most part covers creating a job chain within Job Chain Manager. If you're interested in, in Enterprise Job Manager, I do recommend that you download a trial of the tool. It is a fully functioning tool for two weeks. You can download a trial from our website at www.idera.com. Thank you for watching this video.